Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you all a delicious recipe for curry goat. But I'm making this recipe in my Symphonio pot or Sim pot, which is very similar to an Instapot. Included in the package is an extra gasket. When you open up the pot, you'll get some mittens, your cord, two paddles, and a steamer basket. Also included is a recipe booklet and your user manual. The recipe booklet contains a lot of recipes and this simpot is so easy to use. It's one knob design makes it a breeze. So to start, we're going to season our goat with salt and pepper to taste. Next, I'm going in with some complete seasoning and some all-purpose seasoning chopped onions, chopped scallions, chopped tomatoes, minced garlic, and some green seasoning. And I like using the strong green seasoning when cooking goat meat. Some hot pepper or pimento pepper. And we're going to mix those ingredients into the goat and once it's properly mixed in we have to allow it to marinate in your refrigerator for minimum one hour you can cook it right away if you like so to use a sim pot it's very easy you put on the device using your knob you're going to turn until you get to the saute setting and press the knob twice to start the heating process once it's heated you're going to go in with a little bit of oil and I'm adding it some meaty or some fenugreek seeds. Allow that to brown. And then go in with some sliced onions and some fresh curry leaves. If you don't have the curry leaves, of course you can omit it. Once the onions are brown, I'm going to go in with some mild curry powder. Some spicy duck and goat curry powder. Some jeera and some amchar masala. We're going to toast these spices for about one minute until it feels greeny. After which, we'll go in with some water to help cook the spices. So add that water in and continue to stir. This will thicken and it will turn into a paste. Once it turns into a thick paste, Allow it to cook again for that one more minute. You see the oil start to separate, then add in the seasoned goat. You can also use lamb for this recipe if you like. Toss the goat in that curry and allow it to cook for five minutes. It will start to release some of its own juices. All you have to do now is add a little more water to help this cook and to create a sauce and don't add too much cover make sure and lock that cover into place so you're going to turn it clockwise turn on the machine using the knob turn to the pressure setting you see how easy this machine is to use press the knob twice to start the pressure cooking process the timer counts down from 35 minutes. Once it's done, make sure and check your pressure valve to make sure there's no pressure in there and then open your cover. And your goat is ready. So tender and so delicious. If you have problems cooking goat with it always being hard, you definitely need to try this pressure cooker. So all you have to do is taste and adjust your salt and then this will be ready to be served. I hope you guys enjoyed today's demo of this Simpot. It's a very similar to an Instapot. I will leave all the information for it down below in the description box. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!